Good evening. My name is Tyler Thompson, and when I was an underclassman, someone told me that their mother didn't believe it appropriate for teenagers to be calling themselves pirates. She believed that it would encourage us to steal, be violent, and commit whatever other treacherous acts a pirate in a landlocked state like Missouri could think of. When I first heard this, I didn't know how to feel. Admittedly, I agree with her, because as a group so creative and intelligent as ourselves, it might be odd to call ourselves pirates. However, as we sit here together to celebrate all that we have accomplished, I want to encourage everyone to think about just how much we have proven ourselves to be brave, adventurous, and persevering. Traits that encompass so much more than just the name pirates. To be a pirate, one first needs a pirate ship. If you allow me to speak on behalf of this entire class, I would proudly proclaim that none of us here own a pirate ship. But I would like to say that we first departed our high school journey from an entirely different world. Sitting behind a computer screen and getting your education isn't exactly the same as a pirate ship. But in the snap of a finger, we lost everything. We went from landlocked people attending whichever middle school you found yourself in to castaways, attending school from a distance. Instead of a pirate ship, our homes became our new club for everything. Social interactions, learning, eating, and even entertainment. And I think we can all agree, to some extent, that we developed a form of digital scurvy. But I believe that it's important for us to reflect on just how much that experience, that feeling of being marooned, stranded on our own deserted island, has affected us. We missed our first voyages through the halls of Battenville. We lost our chance to feel the first buzz of a home football game. That feeling that came with everything along with being a freshman. However, even from the start of our journey, we persevered. We made sure that even from a distance, we were able to form our crews and create relationships with one another that have lasted us throughout high school, even now, going on to our post-graduation lives. Our sophomore year, it finally felt like the stormy seas COVID-19 has sent us were coming to an end. We were able to leave our ships and come back to shore. However, upon our return, things were definitely different. Our captains, or as we like to know, in the senior class, have forgotten so many of Penfield's traditions, so it was up to us to help rebuild in the legacy of this incredible group of pirates. And if the people in the room are any, any indication of how well we've rebuilt, I would say it's better than ever. Our junior year, we had one group of pirates above us that felt like most of their high school years had been lost at sea, and two classes behind us with barely any memory of a pre-COVID world. Our new challenge was transforming ourselves into leaders, trendsetters, and motivators. People with the motivation to preserve the traditions of Pentagon. People with shoulders that could support the weight of everyone's emotion in a class that gave the community hope. Hope that the future will be just fine. And I can honestly say that as a group, the Pentagon High School class of 2024 has over-succeeded our job. We have not only returned Pentagon to the prior traditions, but we also formed new traditions. While we are not thieves, nor pirates, our captains of a giant ship set out at sea. Each and every one of us in this room today has undoubtedly made an important contribution not only to ourselves, but to this community. We have persevered so that classes below us would know how it feels to grow up in the pirate nation. So I would like to encourage everyone in this room today to hoist our flags high and proud as we navigate the dangerous and uncharted seas that our post-graduation lives will undoubtedly bring, all while being proud to call ourselves pirates.